great things about the environment and certainly have a lot of respect for uh, you know the Naval Academy and that and the football team and just everything that they stand for and the way they the way they play uh, it's always impressive and you know they've got a good team this year I think I think the game Saturday certainly was not indicative of, of the kind of football team they have it's, it was one of those games where um, you know things just kind of snowballed and that happens sometimes and I was really impressed with with uh, the way their guys just kept playing you know and and they played hard every snap and you know, played like you would expect them to play even after they got down early. Um, just didn't have some things go their way early in the ball game. So uh, it'll be, it's a big game for us. You know, we're going to have to, uh, when you play against them, you, you got to play very disciplined football. Uh, they're going to, they execute very well. And uh, that's what good football teams do. They do those two things. They play disciplined and they execute. And, and, you know that's why that's why the Navy's had the success they they have ha- had this year and they've had traditionally. Uh, you know Ken's teams always do that. They're well coached and I think their quarterback's a, a really good football player and just an impressive guy to watch. Very hard to tackle and so you know it's we've had a little bit of extra time to prepare for him, but we'll need it. And uh, you really can't simulate you know how fast they play. Um, you know, how fast everything happens and how quick the quarterback is and what a good runner he is in practice. And so, you know, we're going to have to to try to figure it out as quickly as we can once the game gets started. We'll take questions for Coach Sonny Dykes, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Sam Blum with Dallas Morning News. Please go ahead. Hey, Sonny. Uh, I'm working on a story about Charles Cannon, and I, I know that um, he kind of had a crazy year here. I mean, I don't think he made the fall camp roster. Just kind of what your you know, perspective is on his whole path to now obviously being your, your kickoff specialist. Yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't come to camp, and, you know, he's been one of those kids that from the moment he showed up, you know, we kind of thought he's, he's got some pop in his leg. Um, you know, we just – he hadn't been incredibly consistent. And so, um, you know, as, as we saw him, as he kicked more and more and more, he became a little bit more consistent. And, um, and so, you know, what, what happens with kickers a lot of times, especially uh, as much as we, we've kicked off this year is their leg will start to wear down a little bit, particularly if they're not real big, strong guys. And so, you know, we've, uh, we've tried a couple of different things this year with our kickoffs and, and, you know, I think his leg is fresh, and, and uh, he's been kicking the ball accurately. And ball placement for us is really important when it comes to covering kickoffs, and, you know, he, he's done a good job of doing that. So we're, you know, I'm impressed with what he's done. I'm not really surprised. It's just, uh, I just, I've, I've been proud of the fact that he's worked hard and gotten more consistent. And, and uh, you know, that's that's really important for us. And uh, just going into this week, obviously you had a couple of receivers out, uh, Reggie, Myron. I mean, how are how are they doing? How are some of your how are you looking? Kind of in terms of other guys who maybe had an extra week to get healthy. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know I think Reggie is probably still not ready yet. Uh, Myron looked really good yesterday running, uh, so I would anticipate, assuming that he continues to progress, that he'll play Saturday. Um, um, you know, and then Armani's doing doing better. You know, he's had a little bit of a hamstring issue that I think he feels a lot better now that he's rested. Um, and so I think I think we're in a, a pretty good spot for this time of the year in terms of our health. Delano, I think, is feeling better as well. So, you know, I, I think we're, we're going to be, you know, relatively healthy, especially for, you know, the 11th game of the season. Thanks, Sonny. Great. Thanks. And we'll go to Bill Wagner with the Baltimore Sun Media Group. Hey, Coach Dykes, I just wanted to ask you, you've made a major step forward, obviously, this year with a tremendous record. Uh, is there anything you can pinpoint for why you've – and I know you made improvement last year, but this is a, a, a definite step ahead. And secondly, uh, as part of that question, where are you surprised in just year two that you got this kind of record? Well, I think – you know, I, I think we, we we did improve some last year. You know, we had some improvement. We just weren't very consistent. Um, you know, we, we played pretty well a couple of games and, and then didn't play well in others. Um, I think I think the key for us has just been, you know, consistent play from our quarterback. Shane Bouchelle has really had a, has had a great year. Um, you know, he's just kind of the, the guy that, that makes us go. Uh, he's done a good job of taking care of the ball and, 
you know, he's just the perfect guy for our offense. You know, he's a good decision maker, throws throws the ball on time, is very accurate. Uh, he's got a good arm, uh, throws a good deep ball. So all the things that, that are kind of important for quarterbacks for our system, he uh, he checks all those boxes and he's played at a high level. He's also provided a lot of leadership. You know, I think that's the one thing to me that if you said what's the biggest difference in these – you know, in this team and last year's team is we've got a lot of leadership in this group. You know, we've got some seniors that, you know, really a couple of guys that came in under under June Jones while he was the head coach or, or were coming here when he was going to be the head coach. And, and um, you know, and they've had three different coaches and the guys have, have you know, really had a great off season. You could tell it just the, the, the maturity and the work ethic and the approach was different. Um, and you got to give those seniors a lot of credit. You know, I think that um, you know, navigating a coaching change can be really difficult, and and they've done a great job of doing that and, and buying into to our culture and our expectations and you know and the standard and um, and I think that's been the biggest difference. It's just uh, the attitude and the work ethic and the character of this team is is as good as I've been around. And so it's it's a fun year when you have a when you coach kids like this. It's fun to come to work every day. Our coaches really enjoy working with them and. And uh, it's carrying over to the field for us. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you. We'll go to Stephen Hawkins with Associated Press. Hey, Sonny, a minute ago you were talking, somebody asked you about the physical health, but I wanted to ask you about just the mental reset maybe you guys had a chance to have with an off week. You've had quite a stretch of games with some close games, some big scoring games. How good was the mental break for your team, getting ready for the stretch coming up? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's important. I think when when you're a team that is learning how to deal uh, with you know being one of the front runners and, and and you know and having a little bit of a target on your chest, um, it's different. You know what I mean? Just just playing under some pressure. Uh, I think our guys probably weren't accustomed to that, and and it's just it's a different. I mean, you have to have a different mentality, and that's a process of developing that, learning how to do it. You know, and and having the pressure to go out and perform at a high level every week. You know, in our league, if you don't play well, you're going to get beat. I mean, it's just the way it is. It doesn't really matter who you play. Um, and so uh, there's just such a, a small talent difference between, you know, teams at the top of the conference and teams at the bottom of the conference. And so it's it's all about just going out and playing well and performing at a high level. And and um, and as you said, I mean, we played a ton of plays. You know, we're a, kind of a fast-paced offense, and so our guys have played a lot of plays. And, and our defense has had to play a lot of plays. We didn't do a great job getting off the field. Uh, against East Carolina and so you know I think I think that took its toll on our players a little bit I think we were physically tired but as you said I think we were probably mentally tired as much as anything else and um, you know we had the being on college game day I think was a little bit draining mentally for our players and you know just all that kind of stuff is is it's all good problems to have but if you're not accustomed to it it can be a, a strain on you mentally and so it's good to get away and get rested up and recharge the battery a little bit and we're certainly going to have to, to, to have a chance to, to beat Navy. They're very good at home. Um, you know, it's senior day. Uh, they'll be, they'll be excited to play and a very formidable opponent. And, and, and like, I know, I know you never got caught up into the, what's going to happen long-term and all that. You've been focused game to game, game to game to be at the point where you're at going into to week 11 with a chance, obviously with division and the conference in front of you. I mean, I guess you couldn't really ask to be in a much better place though. Could you? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm I'm proud of our guys and the way they played, and you know we've been fortunate to win some games this year, and um, you know some hard-fought, tough games. Um, you know, and and we've made some plays down the stretch in order to win. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm really proud of this team, and you know you want to win them all. You know, you always that's always our goal is to win every one of them. It's a really difficult thing to do, obviously, but um, but yeah, we're in a good spot, and and again, I'm not surprised with this group. Just because of their their character and work ethic, and you know the way they've the way they've worked and bought in, um, you know I, I thought they would have a chance to be successful. All right, Sonny, appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Take one final we'll question, to, Coach Sonny Dyke, please. We'll take that from Chris Vanini with the Athletic. Please go ahead. Hey, Sonny, got kind of a offbeat question. Um, in recruiting, you're not allowed to publicly about recruits um what do you think of that i mean it's been around forever but what do you think of that rule and, and do you think it'd be bad if, if coaches could talk publicly about that 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a reason why they can't, just because, you know, um, because, you know, the, the recruiting thing can get a little silly sometimes. And sometimes it's, you know, I'm going to go to the place where I get the most Twitter followers or I'm going to go to the place that, um, you know, says my name the most or the place where the coaches talk about me the most. And so I think, I think in some ways, you know, some of the rules that, that they create, you know, protect coaches from ourselves really as much as anything else. And so, you know, if, if you could talk about kids publicly, you know, then you're going to get, you know, coaches all the time mentioned in this recruit or that recruit or, you know, or, you know, it becomes a contest to see who can mention, you know, whatever quarterback the most times. And I mean, it just becomes, you know, kind of ridiculous. And so, it's it's a shame that that's the way it has to be, but I think that again, you know, in some ways the the NCAA has got to protect us from ourselves, and so I, I see why they do it. I think it makes sense, and and uh, you know, it just kind of keeps you know it keeps the silliness out of recruiting in some ways. Gotcha. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Chris. Coach, thank you as always.